Peace. That's how much again. Hi guys, my name is Sinway, or as you guys can call me Subway. Um, this is my series on budget racing. Basically, I'm gonna try to go into aiming and get first. I don't care in what class, but my objective is to get aiming. Uh, my hobby action track club racing. It be my 21.5 buggy, 13.5 circles, or if they have it, the little low C uh, mini race. Uh, I'm gonna show everything I do, everything that I buy, what stuff I use to get up there. So I'm gonna present my cars that I have to run and how much they kind of cost. Uh, it's all gonna be a rough, a rough, a rough estimate. So do not just come at me and say, oh, you have blah, blah, blah. I said it's rough. I don't know exactly how much it is. And yeah, hopefully, it'll be up there. I think I should give some details about myself. I think I should give some details about myself. So I'm 19. Um, by the way, 20 in October. I currently live in Buckeye, when hobby actually is like out with Chandler. Um, I started racing, or I, I tried, I'm starting to race now, um, but I was in, I've been into RCs for about six, seven years now. Um, I mean, something about cars is always about me, or like just in my blood. I don't know how to explain, but it was just something. Got into cars, got into RCs, kind of just dominated from there to where I am now. Um, currently I own four cars. I have this V6.4, which is V6.2 D, Traxxas Slash, Yokomo Y2, and a low C Mini. So, as a start, this is my first car, my 21.5 motor, 25.5, 21.5 class uh, car. Rolling body, I mean, it's all it up now because it's lightweight. Currently I have a W10 W WP110S Eco Power Servo Black Edition uh my laps just lock ESC R304 SBE receiver which is linked to my uh 3PD um, motor motor damn <laughs> 3PV uh, remote. Currently in here is my Protec, uh, my Protec 4800 amp, but I do have some smaller, cheaper uh, shorty packs like this. Those are just to screw around, have some fun, practice, you know, warm up. This is where I would actually use to race. Linked with that just stock motor, I have a 21.5 turn Mushmore motor. It is regulated for uh, my track out there. Um, shocks, diff, anything mechanical, that's all still stock. Only thing that is upgraded is the uh, uh, J Concept servo mounts. I think that's what it's called. Tires, I don't know what they are. I just know that this one is Eclipse, Eclipse? Yeah, Eclipse, Eclipse. The fronts are Eclipse, rears are, either rears are pro lines. Clone, they're clone wheels. These are just slaked out, obviously, because you need slakes for uh, condition tracks. I know the chassis cost me 100 bucks. No, chassis, battery, and motor cost me 200 bucks this cost me 80 bucks no okay in theory it cost me 70 bucks i had a item i didn't esc go out on me from hobby action sent it back they said it can be replaced free i can get a replacement and purchase it did that didn't need an esc though so i just traded it and got this so instead of spending 100 20 bucks, I only need to spend 50 or 60 bucks. I can't remember how much it was. Got that. The receiver, I think, was 70 bucks. 
this was 50 bucks, the ESC. Obviously, it uh, just slapped, so it's gonna be crazy, but it is gonna work. Uh, servo cost me 30 bucks. Uh, I have to buy a horn as well when I purchased the vehicle. I believe that was just like seven bucks, eight bucks. I had a fan on here, which was 10 bucks. Was it Protec? Protec. I had a Protec fan for my rear. But the issue is it decided to stop working. I don't know why, I don't know how. It just stopped working. So I just put it away for now. Put some vents on my rear of my body so I can still have some air to put on the motor. And this is what I'm using for my 21 class buggy. And hopefully I can get up there on the AV. I mean this is all about getting to the AV final end, putting it all. I know it's gonna take a while, I know I gotta work for it, I know I gotta practice for it, so this is gonna take, take some effort. I don't know how much that is all together, I might just calculate it when I watch the video and edit it. Otherwise, that's, that's my 21.5. Slash. Now notes. The slash I got for free. But wow, we're gonna go with two hundred dollars as it came with the oh, it's not as it came with the XL5, so basically it was stock. I bought the LCG chassis, bought this Hobby King Track Star combo from somebody. I have this EcoPower ESC or we see servo, sorry, servo. I bought it with upgraded uh, arms, has a hub carrier and steering rack and a front shock but I mean yeah. And I put oil on there. They're just they're just screens are not good. So this is gonna be my my 13.5 class for a short course. Um, reason why I'm doing 13.5 uh, short course is because I was basically giving it to for free, and I kind of want to have a second car to run. And I find the trucks fun because the way they move, like they're not planted or just so smooth to run, to run around. You have to learn how to mover or control it and I kind of like that back there so I'm gonna run this as well. I currently have the Ho a Hobby King X-Car uh, uh, ESC. Tracks are 17.5 motor. I need to trade that for a 13.5 motor however it works. My servo burnt out but a main where I bought it from uh, did a warranty and they sent me a new one. So I love the fact they did that. Uh, this I believe was the original one. I believe this was the original one, which is a R R three one four SVD. I believe that's what it was. I believe that's the original one. So this I'm gonna just keep on here for now. Battery I'm just using these basic. What are these? Oh, gold ox batteries and basic old like batteries because I mean they're cheap they're coming through I already need to go into a Protec battery yet and just because you know I'm beginning to race it I bought that battery with the buggy so that's a good upgrade and it saved a lot more money but I don't really need this for this yet unless I start racing um, I need to get new front shocks power is broken as well I've been told to find ways to lower weight on this rear so I need to figure out what to do or maybe I just buy a transmission from Proline or I believe it's Proline or someone else or someone else and I depending how it works I might do it I might not do it um, I know people are gonna say just get a just get a short course truck 300 bucks for the chassis? 
is a lot of money. That's more money that I'm probably gonna spend on this to get it good. So, I mean, I'm, and it was free. So, that's a good base start. Free, which is zero, with the car that I, have, that I currently have, is a great, it's the best thing you ever get. So I'm gonna try and work up to where it's about 300 bucks I put in over time, and it's set to go. It is good for racing. I mean, that's the best start. 300 buck car, and it's, and it's completely ready to race. It tracks this race truck. Instead of spending 500 or 600, because I went from complete nothing to work it out. So, I mean, it's a great start to get. I do need to do a lot of adjustments to it. Uh, but for now, I'm just gonna wait for that servo. I, I might just have to figure out what else I can do to it, or if I find a uh, a motor to replace it. It's, it's super fun. I love the trucks. I see why people are saying to these trucks. So I am gonna do it. Lastly, Mini B. Currently returning the battery behind me. Just got this yesterday. I didn't realize how big they were. I thought they were a little smaller. Uh, I just got the normal brush one RTR version of it. Wasn't looking for ooh, that's cool. Wasn't looking for a uh, a full blown built one unless I was going to trade it for a car that I already sold. But otherwise, I love the way this is. It's just like it's my car, tiny, so easy to take it, take it for. Um, I might get a new body to match my current car. But I'm gonna try to run this in buggy as well, or my uh, if they have it mini B. I don't know if they have mini B brush or brushless, and I need to figure that out. I'm trying to get uh, the fifty dollar poly bean combo, and then I'll just put whenever I'm not using that truck, just put that servo that receiver in here to have fun with it. Uh, I'll use only one, one. Uh, my laps, one my laps. I would just take the car from my buggy to my truck to my mini B and you know, save money there just because it's a lot of money. I mean, that's $300. If I was to buy all of them, $300 for three cars. That's how money I can spend. And this is a budget, so I'm gonna see if it's allowed. I'm gonna see if they'll allow it. But you have to see if it works. And 60 bucks for a completely built car. I mean, it came with the remote, came with the batteries in it, uh, plug the charger. I love it. It's a great car to start out with if you're trying to get into racing. Instead of spending 600 bucks, I think it's about 700 bucks, maybe brand new or whatever, or one of these big guys. And I mean, they're professional grade, high grade, less than 200 bucks, and it's everything with some similar adjustments. Yeah, I'll probably go for this first before going for that. But I already went for that, and I love it. So being these little guys are just for fun. Okay, so those are all the cars I have to run. Objective, aiming, final, first place. I don't know how far I'll get. I don't know how easy it'll be. But I'm gonna try it. I got three classes to run, or two. To run one if there's enough people. I know the minis are not popular with people, but I know a lot of people have them, so they might try to run it. Um, I want to see where I can get with this. I hope you guys come and watch. I hope you guys learn from it. I will definitely say uh, if somebody, if a buddy of yours has a uh, has one of these buggies and they're willing to try it. Try it. See how you like it. It's gonna be a hard at first. If you don't race, but once you get a flow of something, you understand what they're going with. You understand why they do it. It's like so nice. With the trucks, it is a little more of a bashing type, but you still get that flow. It just feels so nice to race. I don't know why. Um, 
I do hope we can get there. I hope we can get up to that A main. I hope I can make this kind of a side hustle. I mean, I've always loved RCs, I've always loved racing. Hope I can do automotive and racing. Um, I do hope you decide to follow me. I do hope you decide to subscribe to me. I do hope you decide to support me. Um, I will do videos on the upgrades, on parts, on maintenance on these vehicles. Um, I'll show you what things I upgrade, what things I may leave, and everything like that. But for now, I mean, for now, I am just showing you what I'm going with. And I hope that you decide to join stuff. I just hope you decide, I hope you decide to join me with you know, racing and everything. I do want to give a shout out to Amy, AZRC, and Hobby Action. All those shops, I mean, they give good advice, give have good service, great parts, good quality. Good uh, good prices, you know, I, you know, gotta love all three of those guys, uh, Ryan Harris is a guy that kind of got me into this, I love the way the cars were moving, I love the way he was pretty presenting his stuff, you know, kind of, it gave me the idea, like, now this makes sense, now this is why I want to get to it, you know, the way he did videos was like, uh, you know, like opening. So hopefully you watch him as well. He has some nice funny videos. He does reviews as well. He gives breakdowns a lot better because he is a racer. I mean, he's more ego. He goes way more in depth than, than I will. So I do hope that you watch him as well. But other than that, uh, I might try to record with this little guy just because I know he can carry longer. I know he can record longer. I just get worried with the the volume of it, because I'm using my phone. Um, I will try to use my microphone still soon, just because uh, it'll be a lot clearer. I don't have a connection for it, because that's me a C plug. Other than that, I think I think we're all good. I think we're all set. Um, I'll post videos where I can. I am always waiting to school and work. Other than that, thank you for watching. Hope you subscribe. I hope you follow me as well.